Hey guys, what's good? Today's video is about shopping at Goodwill. If you guys didn't know already, you can actually shop online. You can buy items or bid on them. And it's basically like eBay. So if you're a camera collector or someone who's actually looking to shooting film, you can actually go on Goodwill and find a good deal on there. Um, cameras you can buy are in good condition. Some of them are dirty and some of them are rare. And also you can find some with their original box just like this one right here. The only downside to shopping at Goodwill is that you're taking a gamble in buying a camera that might not work. Uh, so basically all of these cameras are inspected, and not tested, and their return policy is most likely a no return policy. So you might end up having a good camera or having a camera that's broken and then it can't be repaired or you know you can do it yourself or just use the camera as a display and yeah um, I'll be sharing three cameras that I bought from Goodwill uh, two of them in their original boxes one of them in the original bag and I also have one from uh, eBay that I'll share in this video and we're kind of in for a surprise because I haven't really looked into these uh, into the boxes into the cameras and none of them have uh, batteries uh, or if they do that's probably drained out already and yeah, we'll just check it out. They haven't been tested, but in future videos, if they do work, I will be doing some videos on them. And lastly, I'll be sharing some tips on how to browse through Goodwill. So I'm gonna help you guys find some cameras that you can add to your collection. And actually I do recommend looking to Goodwill better than eBay or Etsy or Depop, and you might find your future camera on Goodwill. So let's check out the box, the cameras that I bought from Goodwill and see what they have inside. Now let's get to the good part of this video by checking out all the cameras that I got from Goodwill, which is this one right here and these two on top. I bought an extra Fuji DL400 uh, from eBay and it came with a teleconverter lens. I'll check that one out last and let's get started with the first camera. I'll start it off with this one, which is the Fuji Discovery 1000 zoom. I'm not sure if this is a sticker that was that says 452 from a thrift store or something like that, but it looks like someone was trying to sell it. Or maybe not. It's a label. <laughs> and yeah, so the box is a little beat up, but we have all the original contents inside this box. And let's go ahead and open this. So right out of the box, uh, from the feel of this camera, it feels like it's new. It feels like it's not even used. Like the grip is still new here, and it feels very solid. Let's see here. Let's try to see if there's any film in this camera. Okay, just nothing. Any batteries? Nope. And that's pretty much it for this camera. So there's no, again, there's no batteries uh, for these cameras. If I didn't buy any new batteries for them. Comes with this little pouch. Not sure what this is, but I'll open it. Plastic container. I guess you can see that. So I'm not sure what this is. It has, it's plastic, but I'm thinking this might be what you can do to make panoramic photos. Um, I'll save that for another time, but it comes with this little thing and a pouch that comes with it, which is pretty cool. And in the box, we still have it an unused lanyard or strap and 
but there's some paperwork in here. Actually, I'll just remove this out of the way. So we have the coupons. Uh, not sure what this is, but it says it's for the panorama. And we have some little pamphlet here. Check out this uh, coupon book here. It's a Fuji color for a hundred. Some disposable cameras from the nineties. We got Fuji Fuji Rila Super G Plus. Fuji Color 100 and a waterproof camera. And <clears throat> the date here shows uh, it's from the 90s, 1997. So we'll close this up and we'll open the other camera. Just put these back here. Go ahead and open this one, the Fuji DL400 Tele QD. Box is in good condition and it does have a label. I'm assuming this is from Goodwill. And it has some labels from a camera shop. So we have Burns camera stores, and then the other one is this Prov camera shop. So this one was passed around quite a few times. So let's go ahead and open this one. <clears throat> so out of the box, we do have the instruction manuals. Oh, we got we got some film here. We got the. Fuji Color Super G Plus ISO 200. Official film for USA track and field. Expires 1997. I'll go ahead and pull out the camera. Throw a plastic in here. So I'm pretty sure there's no batteries in this one. Let's go ahead and open this. Having trouble here. No batteries. There's a bit of corrosion in there. I'll go ahead and I'll clean that up next time. See if we have some film in this camera. Ooh. Okay, so this there's, there's, there's film in this camera. I'm not sure. It's called Perutz. It's from Germany. C41 film. Never heard of this before. So I'm gonna do some research on this as well. And I'm not sure if this film is used. What do you guys think? Do you guys think this film is used or not? So what I'm gonna do, I'm actually gonna test this camera out. I'm gonna use new film. And if the new film, when I finish the roll, if it ends up like this, then I know uh, this film is used. And I'll go ahead and develop these photos, develop this film. Uh, when I get a chance. Well, I'll go ahead and make sure that if I put in a new roll and finish it, it ends up looking like this roll here. Sorry about the whole focusing issue there, but, but yeah, that's what I'm gonna do with this roll of film. See if I can use it or 
it's time to develop it. Cool, I got film from the camera here. So I'll go ahead and move on to the next camera. And put this back here. Clean this up later. And we'll check out the one in this bag. So this camera here, I got it from, yeah, I got this from Goodwill. It was $7.99. And it, it looked really different from all the cameras I've seen. I've never seen this type of camera before. And basically it's a 35 millimeter camera. And it looks like a binocular type of night vision camera. Uh, I don't know, but, but it looks really funky and I thought, hey, might as well try it might as well buy it and try this camera and it does have a zoom lens that go up to 115 uh, millimeter from 38 to 115 it has the date on the back and also it has a flash on there which is also removable Let's see if we have. Let's see here. I'm trying to open the back here. This works. So, yeah, there's no film in here, but it's clean. And batteries. Okay, it has batteries, but it doesn't turn on. So. It looks like a Fujifilm used to come out with batteries. This one's called Photo Life. So, so yeah, again, I will be checking out um, these cameras. I will be buying batteries for them and testing them out and see how well they work. Ooh, this is pretty hard. I'm gonna put that back later. Let's uh, continue with this video. Um, let's see if there's anything in here. We have a deluxe lens care kit from Fujifilm. It's not open. It has a tissue on the back. It also has a brush, air blower brush, and also a cleaning solution, but it looks like it looks like there's nothing in there. It looks like it dried up. That's pretty much useless. Um, it also has this instruction for the lens cap for the camera. So I'll go ahead and open this last one from eBay. So I bought an extra DL400. Basically, same thing, just like the other one. Doesn't come with any plastic covering on them. But yeah, this one actually feels like new. Let's see if there's any batteries in here. It does. So another, again, another battery from Kodak, which is called the Kodak Photo Life. Let's see if there's any film. There's nothing. And this camera uh, came with the teleconverter. It's, it's made for this camera. So go ahead and open this with the pouch. It says Fujifilm on here. It doesn't, but it says it's made in Japan. So this is the teleconverter lens for the DL400. Let's go ahead and put this on here. Pretty sure it goes like that. It locks into place. That's it.
well that's it for now with all the stuff that I pulled out I think this might have been a little boring video but uh, just to show you guys that uh, you can buy uh, good cameras from Goodwill uh, in great condition but I for sure don't know if these 100% work so I'm gonna be making a future video for each of these cameras and let's go ahead and check out goodwill.com I'll show you guys how to access their online store and how you could find your future camera on their website now that we're on goodwill.org to shop online go ahead and navigate to the top menu here and click on shop online this will direct you to shopgoodwill.com so go ahead and save this to your bookmarks and in front of the page you can see all the items up for auction some of them do have a buy it now option so this site is pretty similar to eBay now let's look for some cameras uh, I've been looking up for looking up Nikon F's and let's go ahead and search that up see if we have any for sale and it looks like they don't so let's just pick this one out of random since all the cameras that I've shown in this video are with their original boxes so we'll go ahead and click on the Nikon zoom touch and click on that so what I do is really check out the pictures so from this here you can see that the box is kind of beat up go ahead and click this see a, the pictures up close uh, you can see the sticker is rubbing off here and it looks kind of grimy here and yeah you can also clean this up you can if you're brave enough to clean off all that residue off that camera it does have some scratches and it the screw here is rusty but definitely check out the pictures before buying a camera and also go down to the item info and here they do have uh, the description of the condition of this camera so it says it's in good cosmetic condition it's untested has scratches dust debris and a slight of corrosion in the battery chamber so Again, you're taking a gamble to see if these cameras might work or not, and it's sold as is. So some of these stores um, might have a return policy, but most of them don't. And and that's pretty much it. And let's, let's, let's go for one more right here. So Konica AF3. Again inspecting you gotta inspect the camera see if it's good this one looks like it's in good condition I probably would bid on this and, and if you want you can also watch the item um, so that you have it bookmarked in your list and to do that when you bookmark something when you have it in your watch list you go to my shop goodwill and click on your sh your watch list here so this is all the stuff that I was looking at some video games as well and you can see that Goodwill does have some um, film expired film that they sell as well and here like the Ken E one with the original box and this one sold for 96 that's not that bad and yeah if you guys have any questions about shopping on goodwill.com let me know if you find something cool drop a comment below um, and yes check out my Instagram see more of my work and if you have any questions or comments just leave a comment in any of my photos or you can also DM me all right guys thanks for watching